Hey guys, welcome to the Ingalls Table. I'm Lindsay Moore and I'm going to share one of my favorite recipes with you today. My blog, Just a Little Organic, focuses on wellness, personal growth, style, and of course, food. Today, thanks to Ingalls, I'm going to show you how to make my tea party sandwiches. Alright, we just got back from Ingalls and we have everything we need to make for my tea party sandwiches. This is one of my favorite things to make because it's quick, easy, and fun. Um, we'll start by putting four ounces of cream cheese, so it's basically half of one thing of cream cheese, into a small bowl. Then we're going to put a whole can of elderberry ginger pecan jam. This is from Norm's Farms. It's a local jam and you can get it at Ingalls. It's really, really tasty. So we have nine ounces of jam to four, four and a half of cream cheese. Then about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons. Um, I like a lot of chia seeds. You can do one to two tablespoons. Um, about a half a cup of golden raisins. That's it. We'll give it a stir. If your cream cheese is hard, just let it sit out. You want to start with soft cream cheese. Fold the jam into the cream cheese. The thing about mixing is you don't want it to be too runny because you don't want people eating your sandwiches and then having stuff fall out while they're eating them. Okay, now that our cream cheese and jam is mixed really well, you can see it's, it's got a nice consistency. It's smooth, not too tacky or sticky. And I'm gonna get some salt and I'll use a pinch. My pinch is about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, probably even less than half a teaspoon. Fresh ground pepper. And I'll give it one more stir. And now it's time to spread on our bread. So here I have eight slices of very thin white bread. And I'm just going to add a little dollop to each. These are going to be the bottom halves of the sandwiches. You don't need much. About a heaping tablespoon, I would say. I'm one of those people that cooks without measure measurements sometimes. Spread the mixture out onto the bread. You don't have to go all the way to the edges because we're actually going to cut these into circles. We're going to make these into little tea sandwiches using a neat little trick. So after you've spread the bottom halves of your sandwiches, this again, you can use a whole loaf, it just depends um, on how many little sandwiches you wanna make. So I'll top each one with another slice, press down slightly just to make sure that everything is nice. And then you can either cut off the edges or you can take something like this. And now you have little tea sandwiches. These are great for parties, like a little brunch. Kids love it. They're really versatile. They last a long time. If you want to take them tailgating or something, they're great party snacks. We are all out of time for today, and I want to thank you so much for joining us here at the Ingalls Table. Remember, you can find more recipes, videos, tips, and tricks at ingallstable.com. Until next time, I'll see you online.